Hello, my awesome fearless Virgos. Happy Sunday to you. I hope you are chilling and relaxing today. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Virgo, let's do your reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. We're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, the universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo, for Virgo's highest good, please. The universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in the life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Virgo in the life? And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Virgo, what's popping? This one over here. Let's see what's happening. Love, love, love showing up for you. Yeah, so somebody's entering your life. Yeah, somebody is meant to be in your life. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean you have to be with them if you don't want to, but somebody's coming that you know from past lifetimes, Wheel of Fortune. So they're coming again in this lifetime for you. You see this? This is uh, a soul that you know from many past incarnations and other existences between uh, lifetimes. So yeah somebody you know somebody you're gonna feel if you haven't met them yet somebody you're gonna feel very connected with on many levels yeah Ooh, this is you virgo so somebody is coming somebody's around the corner because you're facing this card you are facing it yeah yes this is beautiful this is you just living your life and not uh, worrying so much like you used to. This is you accepting life as it comes, not overanalyzing so much anymore. Yeah, this is beautiful because this is you concentrating on yourself for a change because you've always been worried about everybody else and taking care of everybody else. Now you're realizing it's time for you to take care of you, what Virgo wants, what Virgo needs, right? What Virgo loves. You are alone at this time. You're not in a relationship with anybody at this time. But you are learning to enjoy your own company. Yeah, this is you learning to love yourself. Respect yourself. Nurture yourself. You see this? It used to bother you. Uh, it used to be a problem for you to be alone not in a relationship it's not a problem for you anymore this is you learning to appreciate yourself yeah enjoying your peace in life yes serenity peace stability on your own you know please show us what's coming up for virgo in their life and how is virgo currently doing on their summit journey i feel i need to shuffle more you know, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in the life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey. Yeah, this is you taking a break from everything. You are not with anybody at this time. You don't consider yourself uh, to be in a relationship with anyone at this particular time. Yeah, this is you having more faith, praying, communicating with higher power through prayer, meditation, nature. Oh my gosh, you've been through so much heartbreak in life. So much betrayal from different people, including family members. Hmm. You're not communicating with those toxic people that you are letting go of. You, you let them go. Yeah, this is you. Uh, keeping very strict, healthy boundaries. Yeah. Huh. The soulmate you're letting go of that you've been dealing with, that is not this soulmate, by the way, but the soulmate that you've been dealing with, your back is turned towards them and you're not communicating with them. You're not reaching out to them. They caused you a lot of 
heartbreak. <clears throat> They're showing up here as Emperor. I'm very curious to see what will show up on top of the Emperor card. Let me see. Then we're going to discuss this. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo. How is Virgo currently doing on their summit journey? Ooh, yeah. This new soulmate is someone fabulous. Look at this. Judgment with Wheel of Fortune and Hierophant. How beautiful is this? Strong connection. You're not holding your breath, however, to meet any new soulmates. You're living your life, enjoying your life, enjoying every single day as it comes. Yeah, you're not uh, having high hopes for a perfect relationship. This is you being very realistic about life. Yeah, this is you trying to stay afloat financially, making sure that you are um, doing well for yourself, that you don't need to worry about bills being paid. Yeah. Oh, my God. Some of those toxic relatives uh, will try to come back to you, Virgo. Yeah, stay away from toxic people, especially toxic relatives, because toxic Family members thinks, think they entitled to be in your life because they're your family members. No, they're not entitled to be in your life. Just because they're your relatives, it doesn't entitle them to be in your life and mess it up for you. They're going to try to communicate with you, whether it's for your birthday. Happy birthday, by the way, Virgo. Whether it's for your birthday or uh, reunion, family reunion or holidays. Yeah, Virgo, be very clear with them that uh, you don't want them in your life. As long as they're toxic, they don't belong in your life. It's that simple. Aha, uh -huh. just as I thought. So this person here that you're letting go of at this time is checking up on you to communicate with you. Uh, they want to find a way to communicate with you. I don't like that energy, to be honest with you. They pretend to be an emperor, but they are just a page of swords my least favorite page of all pages. You told them what time it is. You cast them out. You uh, cut them out of your life. Mm -hmm. And your back is turned towards them. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's up over here. Universe, please show us. And then we're going to ask about them. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo. How is Virgo currently doing? When you worry too much, you don't listen to your intuition, Virgo. Yeah, this is you letting go of the past, not allowing toxic people to influence you in any way or bring you down emotionally. Yeah, the person that you uh, letting go of, that you've been dealing with, that we're going to ask about in a minute, uh, it wants to... Uh, communicate with you to make amends with you. They're showing up as king of wands, meaning they want to take action in a uh, mature way because they're showing up as a king. But they're so scared of your reaction. This is them being very determined to clear the air with you mm -hmm, and see how you truly feel. Let's see what's going on with them. Universe, please show us. Hmm... What's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo had been dealing with? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo was dealing with? And how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo, especially emotionally? What's going on currently and how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo, especially emotionally? <coughs> Yeah, communication, unexpected communication. Yeah, so they're going to find a way to communicate with you, Virgo. Page of Wands in first position, unexpected communication. They're so scared. <laughs> Virgo, you, you jacked them up before. You told them what time it is, Virgo style. <laughs> you didn't sugarcoat. You were very honest. <laughs> and I understand that because I'm a Virgo. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hmm. they so scared. They feel blocked. So some of you block them on the phone, online. They feel blocked. 
by you. They're very scared of your reaction, of your possible rejection. Aha. Uh -huh. This person has a lot of emotional baggage from past relationships. You don't know how badly, how badly they want to reconcile with you, be on peaceful grounds with you. Let's see their subconscious position. Yeah, it bothers them. It's like they can't move on with their life. So they feel a lot of guilt. Yeah, they feel a lot of regret. It's bothering them. It's good to know they have conscience. So this person really wants to reconcile with you, meaning make amends with you. Doesn't necessarily mean, when I say reconciliation, which is the judgment card over here at the end, doesn't necessarily mean uh, to be together. A lot of people misunderstand judgment card in love readings. They think when they hear reconciliation, that means they want to be together. No, reconciliation most of the time means making amends, being on peaceful grounds. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean uh, getting back together. So this person is looking for some kind of way to make amends with you, to have better understanding of what you're feeling, thinking, because they feel a lot of guilt and regret. You know, you look, look at all this. Yeah, a lot of guilt and regret, especially these three cards in the middle here. Let's see, universe, please show us um, what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo has been dealing with. And how is that summit of Virgo towards Virgo this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, you see, uh, this is them dealing with different emotions, love and heartbreak at the same time. This is them trying to keep it together, trying to move on with their life, but they have a hard time doing so. Yeah, the tower, you see, this is the tower. This is them finally waking up. Um, Rude awakening showing up, realizing that they are deeply affected by this disconnection from you, Virgo. So the two of you are broken up. You're not together. Definitely not together at this time. Ooh, so there were some serious fights. You tell them what time it is, Virgo style. <laughs> you sure did. I've done it myself. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You have to, because for some people to really understand that you are uh, meaning business, that you are mm, serious, you have to uh, tell them what time it is. Otherwise, they don't really hear you. Oh, they want to figure out. See, they worried a lot because look at all those swords, 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 swords. This person is very worried because they scared of approaching you because they know you're going to tell them what time it is that you're not going to sugarcoat that they did you wrong Virgo yeah they did you wrong and they feel a lot of guilt about it whether they played mind games with you stalled you put your life on hold were dishonest whatever it was or all of the above uh they feel a lot of guilt yeah universe please show us um, what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo? That Virgo's letting go of at this time. Aha, uh -huh. you see? So whatever they caused you to feel, whatever pain they inflicted on you, uh, they're feeling it. You see this? Justice, karma catching up with them. You see this? Justice is being served on your behalf through karma. So when... Whenever people do us wrong, we don't need to seek revenge or vengeance. No, karma will take care of it. Rest assured. You may not always see it, but rest assured, karma will take care of it. Yeah. Ooh, they betrayed you. They did. And they feel a lot of guilt. They betrayed you. This is betrayal. Yeah. Look at all these swords. Swords. Swords, 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 and more swords over here. This person is very worried. Yeah, so for the second time, they're showing up as king of wands, wanting to approach you. They have some kind of legal issues coming up for them, so some kind of problems 
uh, whether they are aware of it yet or not. There are some legal issues showing up here for them with the legal system. You see this? Wow, look at this. Judgment is showing up twice from two different tarot decks on top of each other. This person is trying to figure out, is there possibility for reconciliation to get back together or just reconciliation to make amends? If either one of those, they, they're not sure. This is them trying to look at everything objectively and fix the wrongs, you see? Justice showing up here. So they see very clearly um, that they did you wrong and they regret it deeply. Yeah, whatever it is they did was of serious nature for you to uh, let them go like this. Yeah, universe, please show us. Hmm. Yes, so it's very important that when we deal with people in all sorts of relationships, that we really think uh, thoroughly before we take any actions to try to see if our actions will in any way negatively affect other people. Because when that happens, uh, we create karma. Yeah, it's so important to really look at everything objectively before we take any actions uh, so we don't affect other people's lives negatively. Because when we do that, when we create karma for ourselves that we're going to have to balance. Yeah. And it was, please show us What's going on currently with that summit of Virgo? That Virgo is letting go of. <clears throat> yeah, they betrayed your trust because there's a snake showing up on the bottom here of Lover's card. Yeah, they're trying to figure out what action to take to make amends with you, to talk to you. Yeah, so again, they're showing up as Page of Swords, checking up on you, wanting to clear the air with you. They're not happy. Uh, with the way things ended. They really are not happy. Let me see one more. Yeah, you see, they realize what caused that the wishy-washy behavior, dishonesty, mind games, manipulation. You see this? The worst night of all nights, night of wands, and the worst page of all pages, page of swords. You see, ten of swords, they're not happy with their life. No, look at this. This is them. Thanks to you, Virgo. You're waking them up. You are the catalyst in their life. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. Thanks to you, Virgo. They're realizing that the life they built for themselves is not making them emotionally fulfilled at all. Because it wasn't built on solid foundation. Yeah. Virgo, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up for you. Two of Cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life, the two of cups energy with the wheel of fortune, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So for go click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.